I am Jeff Jabko, and I'm a continuing education instructor at Longwood Gardens. All right, I want to talk about the top five clematis in the trial at Longwood Gardens. Uh, and I'm going to start from the, uh, the fifth. This is Gisela. It is a dark purple, um, almost blackish purple when it first comes out and then fades to just a little bit lighter, very free flowering. Uh, in f uh, tied for third and fourth place, two, Princess Kate and Dutch Sky. So Princess Kate is a Texensis type, uh, creamy white funnel uh, that has a dark maroon uh, along the edge and on the back side. It comes from Holland. And then tied with that is Dutch Sky, another Dutch selection that is the palest, palest light blue, and then it fades to white with just the palest little blue tip to the tepals, kind of a wide gappy flower. In second place is Slovianca, uh, a dark reddish maroon, very free flowering, flowers from the top all the way down to the bottom, close to the ground, reaching up about seven feet tall. And then the top pick is Solina, coming from Poland also, and it is a uh, light purple to lavender, looking just beautiful, completely covered with medium-sized flowers. You couldn't put any more flowers on that plant than what we're seeing today. So these are my top five picks for the clematis trial at Longwood Gardens. The trial was initiated along with the International Clematis Society in 2014 and so the plants took about two years to really get established so we can really do a good job of evaluating them now and the other large trial sites in the area are at the Scott Arboretum at Swarthmore College and also at Chanticleer Gardens in Wayne.